I'm getting attacked by moths right now, so pray for me, pray for me. Oh my God, look, it's literally here. Yeah, I thought I killed it. Is this a different one? I don't even know. Like, why? Why are you here? I'm very distracted right now. Ugh. Okay, right. I don't know where it is now. This is horrible. Anyway, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to share with you what I'm gonna be taking when I travel with me. Um, so I've got this um, Ted Baker bag. Um, it opens up into two bits. And then I'm gonna put like brushes and like palettes in one section and then just like the rest of shiz in this one. Um, which is really, really cool. Um, it fits like everything in it. It's a definite I just threw everything. Oh no. I think we're okay. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so, I'm literally, I have like a little basket. I filled everything up that I wanted to show you guys. Um, so, I guess we'll just get in, right? Okay. I'm gonna say right, okay. <laughs> First of all, this is disgusting. Don't even care. <laughs> this is my sponge from the pound shop. Is it the pound shop or pound land? What do we call it? Is it pound land? Um, this was obviously a pound and it's amazing. It When it's wet, it's like this big. And it's literally like the squidgiest thing you will ever, ever see. So that's, that's a keeper. And I'm gonna chuck things in here as I go along. So I don't say them twice. Um, okay, so brushes then. Let's just do brushes because they're just everywhere. Uh, okay, so I've got an eyebrow brush. This is the 317 winged liner brush from Zoeva. Absolutely love it for my eyebrows. I have got this fan brush from Good Face. Mine is filthy because I use it every day. Um, also, this one from Good Face, also filthy. Don't even care. I use this for my powder underneath my eyes and like by my nose and stuff like that. Um, I've got this one. I don't actually know the brand of this. It's probably just from eBay. But I love the angle on it and I use it for my contour. So I love that bad boy. Um, I've got this little guy from Good Face. Um, I don't use it as often because it's for blush and I don't use blush that often. But I'm taking it just in case. Um, so that's that one. Um, I've got this 228 brush from Zoeva. Just a blending brush for your eyes. I've got this kind of domed angled kind of brush from Give Face. I use that for my foundation as well as the sponge. This one is called A Body. I don't really know, there's probably another eBay one, but it's just an eyebrow like spoolie. Um, and that's, yeah, that's what I use it for, for my eyebrows. Uh, okay, so we've got a few other Zoeva brushes. We have got the 227 Lux Soft Definer brush. We have got the 224 Lux Define Crease brush. And then a little pencil brush. This is the 230 Lux pencil brush. And that's pretty much all I'm gonna need, um, brush wise. I don't think there's anything else. No. So that's kind of it. I don't go crazy. Plus I'm actually going away for like not that long. So I don't need that much. So that's brushes. Um, I'm just gonna go in like no particular order. Um, okay, so primer and face cream. Um, I haven't included any nighttime or skincare or anything like that. Um, it's just kind of what I do when I'm getting ready. Um, so this is the Tea Tree Mattifying Lotion. I put that on before my primer. Um, and to be fair, I, I don't really use a primer on, on a daily basis. Um, but when I do, I kind of go for a glowy one. Um, so, oh my God, is that more, more moths? <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> um, I'm gonna take this PS Pro Illuminating Primer from Primark. Um, I've got loads of this in here for some reason. It's like lasted ages, it's pretty strange. Um, but yeah, that just gives you like a really nice kind of glow, which I like, I'm all for that. And then to set things in place, and I'm pretty sure something is leaking already because this is sticky, unless it's from my other, my other stuff in the drawer. Possibly. Um, this is, oh, it's really, it's like everywhere. Ew. I 
don't know what that is. Oh, I'll have to clean that before I put it in. Um, this is the Slay All Day setting spray from Gerard Cosmetics, and this is the Tea and Ginger one. And there's honestly, there's things flying at me. I'm getting attacked. So that's going in. And I don't really use that one on my channel very much. Um, I kind of use my DIY one, but I'm so low, there's just like no point in taking it, so I'm just going to leave it here. Um, I do use that one like when I go to work, um, but not always, I hardly ever set my face when I go to work, I just can't be bothered. Um, so lashes, I'm going to take two sets of lashes. I'm going to take Forget Me Not from Unicorn Cosmetics and then Whisper It Real Good by Velour. Um, so this is the Unicorn Cosmetics ones. And then, I'm not actually use these ones, I don't think. Um, and these, these ones are my all-time fave from Velour. They are so wispy. Like, it's just a joke. So, they are coming with me. I have got another pair. I think. Do I have another pair? I did have two at one point. I don't know if I still do or not. Um... But if I find them, I'll just take the used ones, it's just easier. Um, and then I'm going to take my Eye Charm Eye Glue from Unicorn Cosmetics. That is the only eyelash glue that actually works for me. Um, I know that sounds crazy, but I tried the duo ones before and it just doesn't stick down my inner corners. That lasts so long. Um, okay, so I've got a pair of scissors to cut the lashes. And I did have... Some tweezers, where have they gone? Here they are. These are like so cute. These are the Vintage Cosmetics Company tweezers. They are my favourite, they're so cute. They are a bit dirty, because I mean I use them all the time. So yeah, these two are going in. Okay, and then for, I'm just gonna zip that one up. I think we're good on that side now. And then for the other side, so more like face and eye stuff. Um, so I'm gonna take my eyebrow pomade. This is from Make It Revolution in dark brown. I always wanna say chocolate. I'm pretty sure I used to have a chocolate one. Maybe it was when it was Freedom. I love that one, that was my fave. Um, and then for eyeshadow palettes, I'm just gonna take two. I'm going to take the two Pretty Little Palettes ones, I'm going to take the Magical one and the Sassy one. Um, this one's obviously got loads of neutrals in, so for like an everyday it's going to be perfect. And then if I kind of want like a pop of colour on like the evening or something, like this one's got my back. Do you know what I mean? So it's got like a variation, I can make so many looks with this. And I probably don't need to take two, um, but I'm extra so I'm going to take two. So that's the two eyeshadows. I'm going to take and then foundation I'm going to take two only because I'm kind of in, in between shades um, I've got the wet n wild Fo photo focus foundation in classic beige but it's kind of too dark for me right now but I don't know if I'm going to tan before I go or not um, so if I don't then I've got this one and if I kind of do it fades then I can mix them so <laughs> that was a lot of talking uh, this one's the Estee Lauder Double Wear in bone yeah bone um, so, they're both really, really good foundations. Um, yeah, they last a long time, so I really like those two, so they're coming with me. <laughs> okay, I don't know if I'm going to fit everything in. Am I going to fit everything in? I hope so. Oh, I don't want them clanking. Oh, oh, the struggle. Okay. For concealer then, do you know what? I'm having like a real struggle with concealer right now. I've been trying a few, and then I've run out of some that I liked, and then I haven't gone out and got anything else. So, kind of like, this one is like one of my favourites, the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age, but it's run out. Um, so, I don't even know why I keep that. And then I've got this Makeup Revolution one, but I find it doo-doo. And then I had the New Look one that I really, really liked, and I finished it. And I just haven't gone out and got another one. So I honestly desperately need to. So the only one that is decent-ish um, and will work for me is the NARS Creamy Concealer, the Radiant Creamy Concealer. This one's in Chantilly, it's like super light. Um, but yeah, it's kind of all I have at the minute. 
which is very sad, I know. So, that's just my life right now. Um, anyway, so back to face. I'm going to take this Wet n Wild bronzer in Reserve Your Cabana. As you know, I use this for underneath my eyes. It's not a bronzer shade, like, this is lighter than my face. So, I use it on my face and, yeah, that's, it's got like a um, bit of a sheen to it. Like a tiny bun. Tiny bun? A tiny one. I don't know if you can see that through my bruise. I don't know why I put it on that hand. Um, but yeah, I use that for my under eyes. So that's coming with me. Um, I've got the Charity Give Face Highlighter, the loose highlighter. If I take too many pressed powders, I get worried that I'm going to break them. So I'm going to take this one. I mean, this one is popping anyway. It's one of my favourite hum. hum favorite highlighters of all time so that's coming with me and then I'm going to take as I said I'm going to take a blush which I don't normally do uh, I'm going to take this elf blush it's like quite a glowy one. Oh, sorry sir um, this is in candied coral um, I'm going to take that one I really like that one like when I do fancy blush um, for mascara I'm going to take the essence I heart extreme crazy volume mascara um, okay, my memory card was full, so hopefully I'm in the same position. Um, what I was saying was I'm going to take the Essence I Heart Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. Um, I feel like it might run out soon, so I might as well just take that and just finish it up. It is quite a good mascara, so I know it won't let me down. Um, where am I putting things? Okay, so sticking with the eyes, um, this is obviously in like a random order. Um, I'm going to take the two, I thought I was taking three, yes I am. Um, all three of my NYX Gemmo Eye Pencils. This one is Black Bean, this one is Milk, and then this one is Dark Brown. I just thought like all three of them will come in handy if I need them. I've got a black, a brown, and a white. That's kind of all the shades I will need. Um, and then for liquid liner, I've got the NYX Epic Ink Liner, which is my favourite liner of all time. You already know. Um, for face, for bronzo, um, again, no shock, the L'Oreal True Match Concealer in Rose Amber. Um, I love drawing this on my face to contour and bronze. I'm wearing it now. I love it. So it's coming with me. I do need to get another one. I don't ever want to run out of this. It is my favourite. And it adds extra coverage onto your face, even though... Where am I going with that? Don't know. Because it's a concealer, lots of hand movement. Because it's a concealer, it's going to add extra coverage. Um, so when I did my No Foundation um, tutorial, that's kind of why it worked, because I had other products that were just giving me coverage. So, happy days there. And then the last lot then, for lips, I'm just going to take three. Um, I'm going to take the Kylie Lip Kit. Mine is completely battered. Um, in True Brown K. Um, so obviously it's got the lip liner and the liquid lipstick. And then I'm going to take Bear With Me by Joseph Colours, my favourite nude, and my favourite red, which is Kiss of Fire by Joseph Colours. I don't think I need to take any other shades. Again, I'm not going for that long, so I don't feel like it's necessary. Um, and yeah, I can make those work anyway. So yeah, so that's what I'm going to take with me travelling. Um, I say travelling, I'm only going away for like a long weekend, so extra, I know. Very, very extra. <laughs> Um, if you did find this enjoyable to watch, interesting, useful, whatever, um, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys!